in the South. I live in Atlanta. And in Atlanta, you can't go a day without seeing a woman with a BBL, okay? Now, some of them don't look too bad. Now, some, we're going to say some. Now, we, we ain't going to, we're going to say some. Some look natural, natural. You know, it's just like a natural curves. Now, some of these women out here look like, like little bugs, little ants. Big butt, skinny legs, body deformed. Go get your money back. Because I know your body before that wasn't that bad. If if you can if you can accept your body looking like that after the fact, looking like a little ant, little legs, big butt, I know your body couldn't be that bad before you got that done. So we ain't even gonna talk about that. Your body could not be that bad. So, but that's what you see in Atlanta. A lot of ants walking around here. So a lot of little legs, big butts. So we're gonna call them BBLs, ant, them, them ant bodies. Okay. Now. Butt pads been around forever. Like, I used to see a lot of women with butt pads because they they pads used to be kind of like like that, so they would have to adjust the pads to you know. But and they can be kind of iffy too because if you don't get the right that style of butt pads, they can be looking like a little ant too. So I'm gonna say this: if I had the if I had a choice to make to get a BBL versus a butt pad, I would definitely get butt pads unless. First off, I'm not yet that invested in no big butt, no BBLs, that bad to be somewhere ungoing on the knife like that. I probably would get a butt pad. Something quick and easy and just put that stuff on every day and go about my, go on about my business. Because I ain't got time to be sitting here trying to heal. And then on top of that kind of stuff, you got to, with BBLs, you got to keep getting that stuff fixed. They only wait a couple years, some years, maybe 10 years at the most. And you got, it's, a, it's like a surgery, plastic surgery. So that kind of stuff, you know, you got to keep getting enhanced. And so I'd rather do the butt pads. I rub them because I I would have to find the right kind of butt pads that fit my body and don't look like no little ant. <laughs> but I would definitely do butt pads. But that's all you see in Atlanta, y'all. Ant bodies. Some women look somebody some women some women bodies look good. Then you see them butt pads. That is very few butt pads though, but they out there. They out here. I'm even gonna sit here and act like I don't know why women wanna get BBLs because I'm a woman. And we are very we very picky at our body, like self-esteem, image. We pick it ourselves. So they could a lot of time women see other women bodies, they envy that, or they just look at their own body and like, hey, I ain't even got a butt. Cause some women don't even have a butt at all. Like it be so flat, Lord. Like it's just flat. The pants don't even have no type of curve or nothing. It's just so that can make a person feel, you know what I'm saying? Have self-esteem issues, you know. So you know instead of People want to actually actually work for it, like going to the gym, get squats. They rather just sit. They rather just go get a quick fix, go get a, go get a cut, go go to surgery, heal. But that's a process with healing with a BBL. It's a process with it. It's a it's a major surgery. But people don't want to invest the time in going to no gym. They don't want to sit here for no months and months and months, which they could because they went all their life without having a butt. So they might as well go to the gym and do some squats. What, three or four times a week and then by the least go start off and go by five five or six months start seeing some what some results changing your diet build muscles so you'll start seeing something but these people don't want to do that stuff y'all they want to go get cut open and just and get a surgery now like i said the other option is getting the butt pads but i mean that's the easy thing you can do put them things on there every single day and go about your business just simple <laughs> Y'all, that's what it is with these with this. These women do not want to do this stuff, y'all. They they want to, a quick fix. So I understand why women do it in that sense of like not looking good, they not having a behind. But seeing somebody else's body like that, oh, I ain't doing all that. It had to be me just want myself to be looking good in some pants or a dress or something. But not me looking at another woman like dang on her body, nah. Cause I'd rather go to the gym and just work out before I gotta do all that. Before I go, before I gonna get cut, it gonna be because of me and how I think I look and what I feel like I'm missing. Y'all, this just the world today.